Hi, I'm Ron Fuller. I am a Senior Technical Product Manager at VMware. I focus on networking and security inside of VMware Cloud on AWS. Today we're going to talk about the NSX Advanced Security Capabilities. They're available inside of VMware Cloud and AWS that help bring the next level of application defense and security inside of a VMware Cloud on AWS Software Defined Data Center, an SDDC. So let's begin by, with a super quick review of the components and topologies, right? So we've got our default edge. It sits on our perimeter that is connected to the global internet, a direct connect or, and or VMware Transit Connect VTGW, and the connect to the VPC. And behind it, inside the SDDC proper, we have the, the compute gateway, the CGW, where all of the workloads, the virtual machines that you, the network administrator, configure uh, reside, as well as the MGW, where all of our management components live things like NSX and Virtual Center, kind of keys of the kingdom from a, from a managerial perspective are connected to this environment. So with the advanced firewall add-on, we have the ability to be able to bring additional security features into the SDDC. Those features include IDS IPS, intrusion detection and prevention, layer seven firewalling, as well as Active Directory integration for, as well as LDAP, for per user uh, firewall policy configuration. So let's talk through these uh, just briefly. IDS IPS, as the name kind of implies, is intrusion detection and or prevention. It allows you to be able to uh, configure the system to look for anomalous behavior inside of the environment based on a predefined set of signatures. So one of the first questions customers ask is, well, where do those signatures come from? We curate those signatures for you, and then we provide the signatures through um, a service we have called uh, NSX Threat Intelligence Cloud Services, where the NSX manager will, will periodically pull through the, through the infrastructure out to NTICS and pull in the uh, updated signatures that we've curated, um, and then it will be able to publish those out to the underlying host that all your workloads rely on. So it becomes a very much a really a no touch implementation for signature updates because we'll automatically publish those signatures and then they get pushed out to the to the various hosts. So it's it's uh, a simple to manage and maintain without having to go download a bunch of stuff and then distribute it around across the environment. We take care of that heavy lifting for you. And then those signatures are, are enabled on the, the individual host. And depending on your policy, you're going to define what kind of threats we're looking for, right? So being able to uh, detect against and or prevent well-known um, attack vectors that, uh, that can be exploited across the environment to access it from a, from a, a, a workload perspective. We also leverage the existing distributed firewall functionality, right, that we talked about in the previous video and we build upon it to add an IDS IPS, right? So it becomes a distributed IDS IPS functionality, which is actually very powerful, right? So instead of having to have a centralized appliance manage and maintain all of this and, and inspect all the traffic, we can leverage the power of distribution. So as your software-defined data center grows, your IDS IPS footprint doesn't necessarily need to grow in proportion to it. It automatically grows because of the virtue of the additional hosts that are being added to the, to the infrastructure. But now we can start to detect and squash these attacks if we use an intrusion prevention. Uh, right at the VNIC level of the, the guests both coming in and are going out. And one of the common con questions customers ask is, well, if I have an attacker coming from the outside world, say they, they've, they're coming in through a, a, a good configuration uh, that allows you know, network address translation and things into one of my workloads, we still are able to de de detect and defend against that. Just because they're coming from the outside perspective doesn't mean that um, we, we no longer inspect the traffic. We'll inspect it when we see it hit these filters on the IDS IPS engine. Additionally, the layer seven firewalling is also distributed. It leverages the same kind of functionality that we have with DFW, when you define the DFW policy, you're going to define application profiles and utilize well-known applications that is elicits that's, that's uh, updated um, as your software-defined data center gets upgraded as well, and it allows us to be able to detect anomalous behavior um, inside of 
inside of uh, applications, right? So, so maybe you have somebody trying to do a file transfer across HTTP um, because that's permitted. HTTP is permitted for your application, but somebody's doing something nefarious with it with uh, FTP. We can uh, we can detect that and then um, uh, you know, prevent that from happening as well, for utilizing the layer seven firewalling. And then finally, the Active Directory LDAP integration allows us to be able to, especially in our VDI or uh, end user computing environments, integrate in the NSX manager with Active Directory so that we start to learn user um, user information, group information, and based on who logs into a workload, we can define a specific firewall policy. So we can do something as simple as um, somebody logging into a desktop as a, as a member of the HR group doesn't have access to engineering resources based on group membership. But if that same HR user logs out and somebody logs it back into that desktop that's a member of the engineering group, they then will inherit the access to engineering resources and likewise not have access to HR resources, all based on group membership. So it gives us a, almost uh, you know, limitless flexibility with regards to the security policy we can define and still control that lateral movement east-west across the environment while maintaining a, a secure policy that we want to have in our infrastructure. So the advanced firewall add-on is a powerful set of tools that allows us to be able to bring additional functionality into your VMware Cloud and AWS software-defined data center. Thanks for taking the time and have a great rest of your day.